but when they come, they come in hard and fast. That sounds really wrong. <laughs> What's happening my fellow geeks and geekheads? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today's video is going to be a spoiler free review of Shazam. I am literally still dressed in the clothes from the premiere this afternoon here in Sydney. A massive thank you to Roadshow and Playmaker Digital for inviting mum and myself this afternoon to the Sydney premiere. Like I said, this is going to be a spoiler free review, so need not worry, no spoilers within this video. So Shazam is directed by David F. Sandberg. It stars Zachary Levi, Jack Dylan Grazer, and Asher Angel. And it's based on the comic book character Shazam. So within this film, it tells the story of Billy Batson, a troubled orphan who has gone from orphanage to foster homes. He then comes in the care of a foster family that has several other foster children, including Freddy. Billy is your typical runaway orphan, a lot of trouble with the law, getting into trouble everywhere else. He then encounters a wizard. The wizard then transfers his power over to Billy, and when he yells Shazam, he becomes the superhero Shazam with the abilities and powers of certain gods. Now, the antagonist in this film is Dr. Thaddeus Savannah, played brilliantly by Mark Strong. And my only gripe is that I wish they had given this guy a lot more layers instead of just him spelling out cheesy Shakespearean bad guy dialogue. And don't get me wrong, Mark Strong is a brilliant actor and he was absolutely brilliant in this film. I just reckon his character could have been given a bit more depth. But regardless, that is the threat. That is the antagonist in this film. Now, firstly, the reviews for this film have been absolutely amazing. People are saying it's very warm-hearted. It shows a lot of themes of family and belonging. And to be honest, I totally agree. This is one of DC's finest films. And from seeing Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and of course Shazam, it's good to see that DC are heading in the right direction. I've got a good feeling about the future of DC after this point. This is honestly one of the best feel-good films I have seen in quite a long time. And the interesting thing is the superhero elements of Shazam take a back seat and it's more or less, like I said, about family and belonging. Billy has no family and that's what he searches in life. He's trying to find his biological family. He is paired up with this foster family and might I add, this foster family is the epitome of genuine engraved on your bones. These guys are the salt of the earth people, especially the mother and father caring for these foster kids. Zachary Levi Shazam, as everyone has said, Zachary Levi was born to play Shazam and I can vouch for that. The guy was absolutely amazing, embodying and just taking off those mannerisms of a 15 year old kid. He absolutely nailed it. Physically, he is imposing. He looks amazing in that suit. Yet at the same time, being physically imposing, he can also still appear weak as a 15 year old trapped in a very muscular man's body. Now, the kids in this film are absolutely amazing. It's, it seems these days we are surrounded by amazing child actors, whether it be Stranger Things, It Chapter 1, and I'm assuming It Chapter 2 because the same kids are coming back for it for flashback scenes. And in this case with Shazam, it's more amazing child actors that quite frankly steal the show. Case in point, Jack Dylan Grazer, who plays Freddie Freeman, the guy was a scene stealer, especially when he's opposite Asher Angel and Zachary Levi. The guy has great comedic timing, and I can't wait to see where his career goes in the next 10 and 20 years. Now, being the cosplay guy, i got to talk about the costumes. Of course, the Shazam costume looks absolutely brilliant. It's not too overdone. It's quite simplistic and beautiful in its execution, especially that cape. That cape just has that nice weighted flowing feel to it. The muscle suit looks quite intricate. I do hope they bring out like a documentary or a featurette on how they built the suit for Zachary because that muscle suit just moves so fluid and naturally like as if Zachary Levi was that buff under that suit. Even when he puts his arms up like that, like the deltoids all arc back and everything and it's literally like someone doing a most muscular pose with their natural anatomy of muscles. Crazy, costume technology is just ridiculous these days. The CGI was a hit and miss. There were some shots where the CGI was amazing and then other shots where they could have rendered that a bit better. You guys gotta take into account time, budget, all that stuff. Nonetheless, it still had the effect and it still worked for me. Now my only other gripe apart from Mark Strong's character is the final battle could have been shaved off by say five minutes. I think it just got a bit too uh, repetitive towards the end. Nonetheless, it was still a great 
finale that's going to leave everyone with their jaws on the ground, everyone smiling and probably even going to be welling up. There were certain parts towards the end where I welled up quite a bit and this is a DC movie. Like I said, the superhero elements do take a back seat for a lot of the time throughout this movie, but when they come, they come in hard and fast. That sounds really wrong. <laughs> And of course, there is a mid-credit and a post-credit scene. Of course, I'm not going to spoil that for you guys, but stay for the credits. So guys, overall, I had a damn good time with Shazam. It was quite refreshing, even though Wonder Woman and Aquaman have just been stellar. Shazam took another direction. Uh, the superhero elements, like I said, took a back seat. And this is more about family belonging and family values and it seriously shows David F. Sandberg has done an amazing job and I really do hope he does more things for the DC Universe. I really want to see more of Zachary Levi's Shazam because that guy is just amazing. Again, great comedic timing, much like the kid actors, they were just all phenomenal. The cast brought their A-game. Mark Strong did an amazing performance. I just wish his character of Savannah just had a bit more layers to it and just a bit less cookie cutter. And also the final battle could have been shaved off by five minutes, but don't let that deter you from the fact that this is going to be an amazing two and a half hours, guys. So with that, I'm going to be giving Shazam Four geeks out of five. So guys, when you have seen Shazam, please drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Next week is Supernova Melbourne. I am racing around the clock, finishing up this Hellboy costume. It is literally burning both ends of the candle at this point. After I finish editing this video, I am back to doing fittings and everything with the muscle structure and blending it up with the silicon mask. So I've tried to document as much stuff as possible for one kind of big, documentary video from start to finish of how this costume was made within four weeks because I don't even know how it's done. <laughs> Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geese, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.